in this lecture let me show you how to do some custom form validation in html using pattern attribute as you already know form validation is very important when it comes to the usability of your web page before submitting the data or saving it in a database we need to make sure that the data entered by the user is in the expected format so form validation has become very easy with some new input types such as email tel url etc offered by html5 still suppose you want to validate a username or zip code or some other data for which there is no specific input type in that case you will have to do some custom validation so you can use pattern attribute where you can define your own rules for validation using regular expressions so here we are going to do some validation for username and zip code using pattern attribute and as you could see here as the placeholder represents only alphabets you are allowed to enter only alphabets now what if i enter a number and here you could see that the border of the input is displayed in red color and again as this is a zip code text box i am supposed to enter only numbers but what if i enter characters as well this also represented in border red now let me try to submit see you are seeing a message like please match the requested format minimum length is 4 and maximum 10 so suppose i enter this one and try to submit you are seeing a message please match the requested format exactly five digits because this is a zip code so only if i enter digits that two five digits i'll be able to submit it so we are not seeing any error message so like this you can do some custom form validations using pattern attribute and let's see how to do that so to illustrate this i have created a web page html page and added the title like custom form validation now within the body let me add a form and within the form i am going to add the elements that is the input elements so i haven't specified any attribute like action or method for this form because i don't want to submit it i just want to show you how to use the pattern attribute in html5 now within this let me add a label for you name okay and within bold let me specify choose your user name and i want to add the input element in the next line so i have added a line break now let me add input type equals text then id equals you name itself and let me specify the name as username then let me add a placeholder which will give the clue to the user like what is expected in the text box so let me just specify only alphabets now i want to do the custom validation so for this username i want the user to enter only alphabets as it is specified in the placeholder itself i expect only alphabets and that too the minimum length should be 4 or 5 and the maximum should be 15 i want the minimum to be 5 and maximum to be 15 so here i can use the pattern attribute and within this we need to specify the regular expression that will validate the input so if you are new to regular expression there are different rules to specify the validation format so here i want only alphabets which means it can be small letters that is a to z or capital a to capital z that can be the values entered in the input and i want to specify the minimum length and maximum length so it should be specified in curly braces the minimum is 5 and i want to have maximum 15 okay so now this is the pattern let me close this input element and let me again add a line break here let me add two breaks so that there will be enough gap here also one more line break and after this let me add the button for submit so button type equals submit and let the text be submit now let's see how it works let me refresh see 
you are seeing choose your username only alphabets and a submit button suppose i enter k l k and try to submit see we are seeing a message like please match the requested format actually we haven't specified any message on our own right this is actually the default message please match the requested format suppose i enter l o 098 l submit still i am seeing the message because this expects only alphabets and if i enter o p o still i will see the message why i have entered only alphabets here still i am seeing the message why because the minimum and maximum we have set like 5 and 15 respectively so this expects a minimum of 5 characters it can be capitals or small letters see when i entered 5 characters and click submit we are not seeing any error message now suppose i want to customize the error message displayed here we have been saying please match the requested format so in that case what we can do is we can specify the title attribute and give some custom message so we have already specified only alphabets here so we can again specify only alphabets then minimum length 5 maximum length 15 so along with the please match the requested format this also will be displayed let's see that let me save let me refresh let me enter some username like op098 and click submit see please match the requested format only alphabets minimum length 5 and maximum length 15 so it is giving a clear indication to the user what mistake they have made suppose i enter opi still i am seeing the message because there are only four characters i have entered if i again enter opi and click submit see you are not seeing any message so like this you can actually customize your error message using the title attribute next let us try to add one more that is for the zip code okay so here let me paste it again let me change this u name to zip and here let this be enter your zip code okay input type is text itself id is zip and here let it be zip itself and for placeholder let me specify only digits because zip code expects only digits and for us zip codes it is five digits so here we can specify instead of this 0 hyphen 9 which means only digits and the length should be 5 so here you can specify only or exactly 5 digits as a title so let me specify exactly 5 digits and let me save this let me refresh see you are seeing enter your zip code here let me enter some valid value o p o p o and here let me enter some characters along with digits okay and let me try to submit see please match the requested format exactly five digits so i need to enter only five digits so i'm entering five digits click this okay there is no more error message so like this you can do some custom form validation using pattern attribute now if you want to style these input elements based on the value entered whether it is valid or invalid you can do that as well let me add some style tag here and for input invalid which means the entered input is not valid in that case we can change the border color to be red and for input valid i can specify the border color to be say blue okay now let me save this let me refresh see now they are in blue color right and if i enter 9090p and see as and when before even submitting the button i am seeing the red colored border why because this is not valid so if you want to give some instant notification to the user you can do something using css styles as well so here as this input is not valid as of now it is giving some red colored border suppose i enter see now it is in blue colored border 
and here as well suppose enter and move the mouse see it is given in red border and if i enter only five digits and move the mouse see you are seeing blue border so like this also you can give some instant notification to the user regarding whether the input is valid or invalid. So in this lecture we have seen how to use the pattern attribute to do some custom validation and you can specify regular expression as the value of pattern attribute to define your own rules to validate the inputs. So here we have validated the username which expects only alphabets with minimum length 5 and maximum length 15 and also a zip code which expects only digits of length 5 and you can also style the inputs using invalid and valid so that you can give instant clue to the user so like this you can do some custom form validation in html5 using pattern attribute